Moving right into the next caller. Let me get this. Okay, caller, you're live on the air. Go ahead with your question. Okay. Um, my name is Ellie, and I'm from the U.S., but I live in Malta now. Welcome, um, Ellie. I grew up as a JW. Thank you. I grew up as a JW, but recently I've been listening to Rabbi Tobias' videos, and I've been questioning and researching things. And it's been so overwhelming. I feel like everything I thought I knew has come crashing down. So my question is about the timeline of Jesus' death in Mark 14. Uh, there it says that the disciples went to prepare the place to celebrate Passover on the day that the sacrifice was made. And that evening they had dinner, then he was arrested and died, and the next evening was Shabbat. I looked up the Jewish calendar, and on year uh, 33 CE, the 15th of Nisan fell on Shabbat. So, sounds like something in the story doesn't add up. Did they get the day wrong of Jesus' death, or is the gospel wrong, and they didn't celebrate Passover, or they had another dinner? Um, it just breaks my heart that I've been, I feel like I've been living a lie all these years, and uh, I really am very grateful to you guys, so thank you so much. Mark 14 does not indicate what year Jesus was crucified on. One could not extrapolate anything from reading Mark 14, which contains the the Passover with the disciples, the Last Supper, and all that stuff. What, what is very clear is that the Last Supper was a Passover Seder. And that is dramatically different than John. According to all four Gospels, Jesus was executed on Friday. But according to the Synoptic Gospels, Jesus was executed on the first day of Pesach. So the first day of Passover was a Friday, okay, got that? Because the first day of Passover is the 15th day of Nisan, the first month. According to John, Jesus was executed on the day before Passover, and therefore, according to John, Jesus was executed on the 13th day of Nisan, and the Last Supper that we find in the book of John, in John chapter 13, it was not a Passover Seder. And just to be sure, look it up for yourself, there is no Passover Seder and there's no Eucharist. That's what's so striking. Like where is the Eucharist in the Synoptic Gospels where you would expect to find it? In the Last Supper, right? This is all very simple stuff what's going on in chapter 13. That's what Jesus is washing the feet of his disciples. So this is far more convoluted than you think it is. And if you want to find the Eucharist in John's gospel, you will find it. You won't find it in the Last Supper because John has a completely different view of on what day Jesus was crucified on. Now, John has Jesus crucified on a Friday, but that Friday is the eve of Pesach because he's tying Jesus' death to when the lamb, the Passover lamb, is executed. This is very important to John. Matthew, Mark, and Luke either disagreed with this view that Jesus should be associated with the lamb or didn't know anything about it. I think the latter is more probable hard to say, but uh, because John Joannian uh, Christology says that Jesus was the Lamb of God, see John 129, see John 136, uh, therefore the author of the fourth gospel would have Jesus crucified when the Passover Lamb was crucified. Because Matthew, Mark, and Luke know nothing about an association of Jesus with the Lamb, like, like, behold the Lamb of God, right? You won't find that in the synoptics. So, you know, when you want to be sure that you've got it right, what you want to do is sort of, you want to do a check. You know, it's like in math, when you, when you solve an algebraic equation, you can actually go back and check it and just replace X and Y with whatever and then see if it all works. So that's what you want to do, you know. And that's why in... John 13, and this is so convoluted that it's much more convoluted than you think, and that God bless you, that you have the courage to do this.
because you know the JWs are kind of of the Christian sects. They're kind of one of the more culty groups. They just are. I'm guessing, and I'm just guessing that you might be a second or third generation a member of the JWs. I'm not for sure, sure, but usually the JW group is so uh, culty to the first generation that people actually join it, that it's only their children and grandchildren that can sort of make sense out of it and go, wait. Because they're, they, they're, they're a church that like controls your thought and your movements and everything, and you can be this fellow, you can throw it out on your head very quickly. It's a little different than other Christian groups. So that you can think so independently is mind-blowing. Um, so it's really much more convoluted. Uh, strikingly, this is one of the weird things, and that is that Paul associates Jesus with the Passover lamb. So we have Paul doing that in his letters, and then the Synoptic Gospels knowing nothing about it or disagreeing with it. And then it, it, John, there it is, it pops up right there. And it, of course, it's in the book of Revelation, which adopts this uh, Joannian uh, theology. And that's why, incidentally, if you look carefully at the Last Supper story as presented in John 13, when Judas Iscariot is taking the money bag with him at the Last Supper, the people there, the disciples who were present, really were wondering and scratching their head, and like, why is he taking the money? What is he going to do with the money? And they conclude, it's right in the text, please look it up for yourself, that surely he's going to use the money to purchase the things that are necessary for the meal, which is the next night. You understand? That story of John 13, 29 cannot appear in the Synoptic Gospels. Can't. Why? Because why would anyone think that Judas Iscariot is looking to purchase the necessities for the Passover Seder when you've just eaten it? Or, you know, the Jews refusing to enter the praetorium of Pontius Pilate, lest they become defiled and can't eat from the Passover, only that can happen in John. So this is so convoluted because what's happening is that all the writers of the New Testament have theological views and they simply adjust, create, massage, datum in order to match their theology. And that's why you have all this stuff that's completely convoluted. Why don't Christians know it because they don't read the Christian Bible very well. Very few do. And usually people like read Matthew and then Mark, Luke, and John, and it kind of sounds the same. Like John sounds really different, but it's kind of the same. People just, well, of course. And they don't really examine it properly. That's even in the modern world, in the ancient world, for sure they didn't know. And in the Catholic Church, or in the Orthodox Church, which are the two largest Christian denominations by far, by far, the, the adherents are not encouraged to read the Bible, and rather they are stuck with a highly liturgical service in church, which means that it's a highly structured service where people study the passages that the priest uh, encourages, you know, or speaks about, you know, rather than... There are some very studious Christians, for sure, but they're not the, they're not the norm. They are the outliers. So it, this is very convoluted. It's very clear from the Book of Mark that the first day of Passover was the Last Supper and that Jesus was crucified on the first day of Pesach, which is a day different than John. And this is going to have a huge, wide implications for Christians when celebrating Easter in the early centuries of the Church. And... This is completely convoluted. So thank you for your question. My prayers are with you. 
uh, because you're a J witness. And even though I said something about the group that you come from, that they're culty, the one thing is, is that they don't believe in the doctrine of the Trinity, which means it's the kind of group that might encourage you not to just believe everything you're told. So thank you so much for your question. If you enjoyed this program, please like and subscribe. Adon Olaf, Asher Malach, Beterem Kol, Yetzir Nivra, Let Nasa, Bechev Tzokol, Azai Melech, Azai Melech, Shemu Nikra, Veachare, Kiklot Akol, Levado, im loch noa, veu aia, veu ovei.